guys. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a battery relocation. Uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it, how I choose to do it. Uh, it's kind of going to be an efficient way again, uh, keeping everything really tidy. And I'm going to be eliminating a lot of unnecessary wiring from the harness. And uh, we're going to have to do a few other things because I have relocated my fuse box. So let's get into it. So for your own viewing pleasure, I kind of have uh, dissected the old lower harness for the SR20. Um, these three plugs here, they normally go into the fuse box. This obviously goes to the battery. This, uh, this one here goes to the ground on your intake manifold. And uh, from here, you have uh, this connector here that goes to your alternator. You have this connector here that goes to your oil. And uh, you have these two bad boys. This one here goes to your alternator. And this one is the other side of this chassis ground that connects to the back of your alternator. <coughs> This small plug here, and uh, the other one here. This small plug here actually goes to, I'm not too sure, we'll figure that out. But these two um, go to your starter. I don't know if you can see that good enough. There you go. These go to your starter. Um, and then you have these two wires which go into the transmission. So we're gonna have to do a little modification on this uh, harness. So what's going on here is uh, there's our alternator. That's an advanced alternator. It's a 130 amp alternator. Um, in the middle there is the plug. So basically we're gonna go from the alternator with a heavy gauge wire to the starter which is back there. You can kind of see, it's really difficult to see it, but we're just gonna jump from the alternator to the starter. And from the starter, we're gonna come under the booster uh, and into this hole here. And from that hole, we're gonna go into the car where I've relocated all my fuse boxes. As you can see, the fuse boxes are hiding out here in the back of my trunk. I'm going to build a little setup for it so it looks a lot tidier. A little box perhaps. And I'm going to throw that busman in here and also the uh, battery that I have. So this is pretty straightforward. I just cut and extended a whole bunch of lines. It goes... <sighs> under the car, down under here, and then to the engine bay, and out of the car. Coming back to the lower harness, uh, we are going to be able to eliminate a few things. Um, obviously this is going to be eliminated. This is going to be eliminated. So, uh, this one's just going to be out of the harness. This one's bye 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 gone. It's our uh, starter wire. Uh, this one we're gonna have to extend to the rear of the car because that's our signal to our alternator. We're gonna have to extend this one to the rear of the car to our fuse box. That's our oil signal. Uh, these transmission wires we're gonna have to extend and reroute somehow. Um, and uh, this starter wire is going to be gone. It's going to be a direct line. I've uh, gone ahead and made my jumper wire to go in between uh, the starter and the alternator. Um, how I did that 
is basically I grabbed a piece of solder and uh, measured approximately the distance from my alternator post here to the starter, which you can't really see what I'm pointing at. But I used that piece of solder to kind of figure out how much wire I'm going to need so I don't cut too much or don't cut too little. Um, the wire that I'm actually using here is uh, from Pro Wire. So as you can see on the cable here, it's a Motorsport battery cable made in the USA. A very high quality cable. Uh, very flexible. And uh, okay, yeah, so I measured out my the length that I needed. So, um, made out my test crimp, made sure everything was good. Uh, then I went ahead and uh, stripped this wire back. Slid these on, crimped these bad boys in. And to finish it off, I laid on some uh, high quality uh, heat shrink from Raychem. It's an adhesive lined uh, heat shrink. So it's uh, very nice. It's kind of hard to see there, but you can see the adhesive. And it's pretty weather sealed. Now that we have our jumper wire finished, we can go ahead and make our wire that goes straight from the starter to the battery. Uh, if we come back to our original harness that I was messing around with before, um, that one small starter wire, that jumper wire, is going to eliminate this. And if I wanted to keep this wire, I'd have to extend it because this is going to go from the back or from my alternator all the way to the back of my car into the fuse box where this harness plug would clip in. Um, just a little tip here, when you are cutting uh, this thicker gauge wire, you're going to want to use a nice uh, cutting tool so you get that nice crispy uh, cut there. At this point I can go ahead and stick it on if I want but I'm going to go ahead and start making the wire to the battery. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, crimped the longer wire and I've run it into the engine bay towards the starter. Hold on, let me adjust the ISO so you can kind of see what's going on. So it's going there uh, into the starter. It's not bolted on. But, um, I'm not very happy with how that looks. You know, I'm trying to make everything really tucked. So, I think I'm gonna reroute that somehow. Uh, I'll probably have it come out of the transmission tunnel. Down out from there and then I'll come up and then into the starter. So that's going to eliminate uh, this uh, red wire hanging here. Worst case scenario, I don't even have to go uh, this whole way. I could just go straight down the straight down the middle here, back towards the fuse boxes, which are hiding in the dark. So eventually, the this lead here is going to go into this power distribution block that I have ready. Uh, it's going to go into this uh, 150 amp slot with a 150 amp breaker. This uh, little 80 amp here. I don't know if you can see that. So these two 80 amps. Uh, one's going to go to the fuse box, the original chassis fuse box, and the other one's going to go to this uh, Busman RTMR that I built in the other video there. Um, and then this lead here is going to go straight to the battery. So essentially now where we're at is uh, we've eliminated fuse box to 
or sorry, alternator. We've eliminated this wire here. That's to the starter. So now all we need to do is uh, lengthen this one. This is the signal to our, we have a transmission plug. So we're gonna need to extend that. We'll run that through the same hole that we're gonna run that uh, two gauge wire from. We have the ground here for the alternator, or for the starter, sorry. We're kind of gonna get rid of it. Uh, we're just not gonna run it all the way back to the fuse box where it goes, or where it would normally go. Uh, we're just gonna ground it on the body. These two wires we're gonna have to extend and we'll run that through the same uh, hole in the chassis that I drill for the uh, starter wire, for our main starter wire. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do here, plan B, instead of having this uh, starter wire run up through there and be all ugly coming out the top of the wheel arch, I've peeled uh, my beautiful 25 year old carpet back. I removed my beautiful old logo Nismo pedal. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drill a hole right here and have the entire wire run down the transmission tunnel on the inside of the car, of course, and uh, end up back there where the fuses and the battery and everything else electrical is going to be. So, pretty happy with that idea. Um, so I'm going to drill that hole, make it big enough that uh, I'm going to be able to fit this wire in there and uh, find a grommet or something because you can have a uh, wire rubbing on bare sheet metal a bare sheet metal edge like that. And probably I'm going to end up sealing it with uh, silicone so I'm not getting water inside. Look at this bad boy. Works well. Pretty sick, eh? Brand new OEM wiper stock. Brand spanking new. Yeah, I got a lot of new uh, OEM parts on this bad boy. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Um, I'll come back when I find out how that goes. Okay, so I got the hole drilled. There it is, right there. Um, I splashed some paint on it, so I'm going to wait for it to dry. So I don't get my wire all dirty. And uh, that's where I'm going to run uh, all the wires from the lower harness through uh, back to the trans or whatever that I need there. So we'll get back when uh, that dries out.